What's up, frogs? Iceman here. And I'm just screwing around right now with my little cold sword. She goes by the name of Ice Fox, yeah. And she does daddy's bidding. But, nonetheless, I'm using Heart of the Oak, Nightwing's Veil, Talrosh's Amulet. It'd be nice to have Talrosh's Belt right now on her as well. To get some of those set bonuses. Awesome, decent magic fine boots, man. Check these out. 22 MF, dual res, and 30 faster run walk. That's pretty nice. GG castrate ring. Viper magi. Snow clash, which isn't really needed. Mage fist. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I, I could have some better gear, and my cast rate is pretty whack right now. It probably doesn't have to be this high up, man. But I don't really feel like checking the breakpoints right now. Because uh, this build is focused all on uh, Frozen Orb. So she's kind of optimized for cold damage, see? 686, and I don't have a torch. Don't have a Sork torch. Just put one into teleport, one into static. Oh! Max Frozen Orb, max the Synergy, and max Cold Mastery. And then I have a ton of more uh, points left here, as you can see. So I'm trying to decide what to do with that. Might put some into Hydra. Just for the fun of it, really. But I respect this Sorg. Primarily to do these Mausoleum runs, as well as Ancient Tunnels. Because in both of those areas, there are 85 areas... I think Mausoleum's 85, or is it 83? I'm not sure which, but... And there are barely any cold immunes. Like, the only time you're going to come across a cold immune is when one of the boss or champions just randomly spawns the uh, cold immune uh, synergy, or whatever you call it. Yeah. So, you just kind of hit up these areas, man. And it's really nice with the Frozen Orb Sork because you just have your insight. And this one's great because it has a maxed meditation. It ranges from 12 to 17. It's not in an ethereal item, but whatevs. Treachery, vamp, gaze. But man, it's just rocks. So you have pretty much like infinite teleport. And just look at how easily she just wipes these guys out. And it's, I think it's, uh, it's more chill gameplay, man, over Blizzard. Because Blizzard, you have to hotkey Blizzard and teleport both on your right click. And I think it just gets annoying continually going from Blizzard to teleport with hotkeys. Like, this is chill, man. You can just sit back and cast that shit. See? And it's not bad damage. And, uh... It's very piercing with your Cold Mastery Max as well, so... Yeah, for as little the damage looks on your character screen, it actually beats the shit out of them. Especially enemies who are uh, have a lower general resistance to cold anyway. But it's just, it's pretty fast, and it's chillax, man. You can sit back, you can drink your coffee. Oh, look at this, they have a uh, Conviction Aura right here what it does to my res takes it way down but now they're murdered not sure if daddy is going through some allergy thing I think I might be some allergy thing right now but hey I appreciate my patrons all right uh, I should have like had a window ready to show you guys my patrons maybe next time but I appreciate you guys supporting the channel and if you would like to become a patron just click the link in the description below and every little bit of money helps, man. You know, one dollar a month helps Ice Daddy. And I appreciate you guys. Or Ice Man, rather. You know, you don't, you don't got to call me that. You know? I just... I don't know. I have a dog. A little German Shepherd puppy. And she's really cute, man. And I call myself Daddy to her. So I just kind of get used to calling myself that, you know? And it's, there's nothing... There's nothing, like, unusual about it either, like... I have a dog, I have one whammon, and that's how Iceman likes it, you know? But anyway, this is a great way to to farm for high runes and stuff, and decent items. So you, just, you could up your MF more. This Nightwing's Veil, 
really isn't essential. Like, I could put on this Shaco instead. See, and I do about 100 less damage. Or maybe more, actually. Or 569. Because your minimum and your max goes down about 100, see? Shit. So you're losing quite a bit of damage there. But it's still pretty effective. And in general, if you're playing on ladder like I do, you're not playing on pluggy or single player. So you can't do that player's eight thing, you know? So in general, people who play on the ladder realms are just MFing in one or two player games, as it is. Of course, you could try to join other games with bow runs and stuff and get a quick boost in your in the drops and stuff, but those don't last very long, because then you, or then you got to keep following them. That gets kind of annoying when you have to be reliant on that. So this sort of build is kind of uh, built around players one or two, you know, because after that it's just it starts to really suck, Frozen Orb where you're better off just going blizzard even though it's kind of annoying doing the whole hot king thing but anyway if you will like this damn video and subscribe to the page the letter might reset soon i'm not sure when is that resetting or maybe that's like december right but uh yeah i plan on playing again when it resets but i might showcase some of my hardcore characters in the next upcoming videos we'll see but like the video and subscribe if you will. Peace with you.